The Heat take on the Bucks game two, and that's going to be a 6.30 p.m. Eastern start time. The Bucks are down one game to nothing in the series, but despite that, Milwaukee's still the five-point favorite in this matchup here. Totals 221 flat. Miami's plus a buck 70 for some money line cash. And if you like the Heat to cover, they're minus 105 catching the five. I'm 3-0 in my last three NBA tier package plays on Patreon. Dot com slash Brock page. I'm also 8-1 and one, my last nine NBA tier package plays in that same category as well. For more information on how you can access these exclusive premium sports picks, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock page. Now Miami held the Bucks to just 18 points in the fourth quarter en route to a game one victory. That's going to make it five straight wins for the Heat holding their opponents to just 101 points per contest on average during that span. Miami's ranking in the top 10 in the league in offensive field goal percentage, top three in shooting the three ball. Jimmy Butler's averaging 24 a game in the playoffs, five rebounds, four assists, and a couple of steals. Goran Dragic is also scoring 24 a game, four rebounds, five assists for him. Of course, we cannot forget about Bam Adebayo, who's just been crashing the boards. He's averaging a dozen rebounds a night in the postseason. 14 points, 5 assists for Bam. Miami is a perfect 5-0 straight up in their last five versus the Central Division. They also rank in the top three in defensive rebounding, top 10 in fewest points allowed per contest. They're squaring off against a Milwaukee club who's failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last 10. They've also won just four out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with Miami. The Milwaukee Bucks are in the bottom five in the league in free throw percentage, bottom 10 in defensive rebounding. They've also failed to cover the point spread in six out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with the Heat. So uh, we also want to keep an eye on Eric Bledsoe as he's been, uh, you know, battling a leg injury. So uh, he's officially listed as questionable for tonight's action for Milwaukee. Now, total-wise, four out of Milwaukee's last seven games stayed under the posted total. Seven out of the Bucks' last ten head-to-head meetings with Miami also stayed under the line. Meanwhile, the Heat on the other side saw six out of their last eight ball games stay under the posted total themselves. Give me the my uh, give me the underdog Miami Heat plus five and the under 221 in that contest. Before we go ahead and break down our next and final matchup for the show, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personalines out for Wednesday's NBA playoff basketball action. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy hump day to you. The weekend is right around the corner, believe it or not. We are halfway there. Now, before we go ahead and dive into our next matchup here, I just have to quickly remind you once again that we are 3-0 and in our last three NBA tier package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also 8-1 and one in our last nine NBA tier package plays on that site as well. If you want some more information on how you can join in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're going to take a look at that game right there. I'm talking about Thunder Rockets Game 7. And that's going to be a 9 p.m. Eastern start time. The Rockets are the five and a half point favorite. Totals 217 flat. OKC's plus two dollars for an upset win. And if you like OKC catching the five and a half, they're minus a buck ten, getting the job done against the number. 